I'm Meredith with Texas Hay Net, and in my hand, I've got our small hay net that holds a couple of flakes. And today I wanna to show you just how easy it is to fill it and use it in your barn, your stall, or your trailer. So the first thing I wanna do is unpackage your net. So you can easily remove the sleeve, just like that. Take it out. And on the inside, you'll notice we've got more hanging instructions, feeding tips, along with some of our other products. And once you get the sleeve off, you'll wanna cut this little zip tie off. Once you get your zip tie off, you'll wanna just unwind your rope. Then you wanna unfold the bag. And you can see it comes with this carabiner clip, which may or may not be on the tail of your bag. And so, Go ahead, put it on the tail if it's not there already. Once you got that, you just wanna open up your net real nice and wide. To make filling your bag much easier, place it inside a muck bucket. Drape it around the outside edge of your muck bucket. That helps keep your net open nice and wide. So once you got your net in the bucket, just get you a flake or two of hay. Drop it right inside that muck bucket. And this bag will hold anywhere from two to three or four flakes of hay, just depending on how big your flakes are. So then once you've got your hay loaded, you might wanna pack it down in there a little. You just look for your drawstring mechanism and slide that down. Cinch it up just like you would a bag or a purse. And then once you've got it cinched, just put you some half hitches in, slip knots, whatever you feel comfortable with. And once you've got it that way, you're ready to feed. Another way to fill your bag is if you've got, you know, a couple of, maybe a couple of nails or a couple of hooks, or in this case, we've got some bucket hooks. If you set them kind of a foot or two apart, it's real easy to come back and open up your net and just hook it right onto something like that. That way, you can keep your net open with one hand, load it with the other. Just like that. And once you got it loaded the way you want, just cinch it right back up, start to as you cinch, once you get it kind of closed, pull it off your hooks. And now you're ready to feed. One thing I really like to do is take this carabiner clip and clip it to something in my stall or my trailer. I think these are bucket holders. They work great for that. Clip it on. If you've got horses that are curious and maybe a little bit destructive that like to pull and chew on things, you might want to tuck this rope back up into the, what we call the donut hole in here, just so that they can't tear up the rope. So another easy way to hang your bag, if you've got something in your barn, you can clip it too. I recommend clipping it to, to something sturdy like this bucket ring. Then you can take this drawstring rope on the end and you can actually attach it to something else. If you've got another hook or another drawstring. So you can just take your drawstring rope and attach it to something next to it. Finish tying it off. So now you're ready to feed and you've got your net up nice and high. It's not dragging on the ground. And it's just one more way to keep this net nice and tight and secure so that it's not swinging back and forth in the stall. If you have any questions about our small hay net or any of our other products, give us a call at 325-388-2727 or hop on our website, texashaynet.com and shoot us an email. Mm -hmm.